He has eight hits in this situation this season. 2-0 pitch on the way. Swung on, hit high in the inner center field. That'll be deep enough to score Winsky from third. The catch is made. Here comes Winsky down the line to score the go-ahead run in the eighth. And Harding leads it now 4-3. Now the 2-0. In the dirt, wild pitch. Here comes Butterfield, and the Bisons win it. They walk it off 5-4. And take no one, and that's banged into the alley, but uh, over is Kelly, and it's going to drop, though. Well, I thought Kelly was going to get there and make the catch, but he just kind of held up, and then Koenig dove for it, and it drops in front of him, and a run scores. It's a now set, and the 2-2 pitch coming. Swing and a miss, strikeout number three for Barker ends the fourth inning. So one, two, three, fourth. Now the 3-0, and that is bang to left center field, and that's going to be over the head of Frisbee, and DeWald will score on the double from Brendan Parrott. Parrott with his 10th RBI, his sixth double on the year, and it's 3-0 Bisons here in the sixth. Now the 0-1, and it's popped up. That's on the infield. Who wants it? The third baseman calling for it, and he dropped it. And a run scores. Parrott was running all the way, and he came around to score. It was dropped by Holdren, the third baseman. So the third error in the game. They play him to pull. The 0-1 pitch coming, and he swings and pops it up. The shallow right field, and the second baseman, DeWald, makes the catch. Harding wins it. And Joel Barker, his fifth complete game on the season. A three-hit shutout, and the Bisons win both games of the doubleheader today.